Once we have agents installed on our device, we can perform tasks such as remote access. Remoting into a device requires that we have an agent installed on the device that we are remoting to and on the device that we are remoting from. To access the device remotely, we first navigate to the site and then click on the device's tab. You can also remotely access a device anywhere you see the device's name in the console, such as on the summary page. Once we have located the device we wish to access, select the menu icon to the left. You can remote to this device using VNC, RDP, or an agent broker connection that will allow you to perform many additional tasks alongside the user without interrupting their activities. If you have users accessing sensitive information, you can provide them with privacy by selecting their device and clicking the privacy option in the toolbar. But be advised, once this is enabled, it cannot be disabled. Now let's look at device monitoring. Device monitoring allows you to be notified when certain events occur with your devices, such as spikes in CPU and memory usage. Monitoring these events allows you to be proactively informed of a minor incident before it becomes a greater problem. Each site is provided with a basic set of monitoring policies. These policies will monitor things like CPU, memory, and disk usage. A slight modification to these existing policies is required so that you can receive email notifications when events occur. To the right of each policy, click on the pencil icon to begin editing it. You can accept the default configuration of the policy by clicking on Next until you get to the response detail. Once at this screen, select Email, the following recipient, Default Recipient, and then enter any additional contacts you desire under Additional Recipient. Once they are entered, be sure to save your new recipients. Click Next and then submit. Finally, click to save your changes. Whenever you create or change an existing policy, you always need to push your changes to your devices, so click on push changes now. Beyond default policies, you can also create new ones. Click on the Policies tab and select New Site Policy. Set the type to Monitoring and click Next. Next, click Add a Target. The target specifies which devices inside of this site the policy will apply to. 